Good evening everyone, Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone has had a wonderful week. I hope that you've kind of had your schedule go more back to normal and that things are kind of relaxed. We've had a lot of snow. It started snowing the night before last night. Woke up and there was about four inches of snow and it kind of snowed until, I don't know, maybe, maybe eight o'clock or something like that. And then it stopped. I woke up this morning and it had started snowing again and it hasn't stopped really. Um, Hubs has been plowing snow here almost all day and he's still plowing snow because it still kept snowing. I think we probably have, uh, I don't. I don't know, 15 inches or something like that. And there's still more to come. It's very, very pretty outside, though. And it's not very cold. Might be 12 Fahrenheit outside. So it's not all that cold. I can still handle running outside barefoot. So there's that. Anyway, um, I've been busy, busy. And I'm so excited because the Victorian Rose packages are now done. And most of them were claimed. I don't know what I was thinking when I made them, but I had really overcounted um, my packages. And so I made several more than what I needed, but they were all claimed right away from crafters that had missed, um, missed my post. But there are just a couple that I haven't had a response to people on my list. And um, by tomorrow, if I don't hear from, from these crafters, then I'm going to make them available. And I, I don't know if I'll make a video or not. I'm not really, not really sure. Anyway, um, I've been making the boho beads because I had a lot of um, requests for these. So I have, I'm working on these now. Um, and I'm sorry, the light's kind of bad in here right now. It's it's dark outside. Um, so the light ain't great, isn't great in here. It wasn't great in here during the day either because it was so gray outside. I couldn't even see the mountains. I could hardly see the end of the property here. It was just white. We had a lot of snow, kind of blizzard, kind of blowing. Anyway, I had to take a break. I got to take a break. So I was making these for my, um, these are stick pins, and I was making them for my, my last two packages, the Icy Gray and the Victorian Rose, and I decided I'm just going to make a bunch more and just do a little tutorial on them, because these are a lot of fun to make, and if you've been making dangles, you already have everything that you need to, um, to make these, uh, stick pins. The only thing is that you don't need any tools to make these. So that's, that's wonderful. So I'm just going to quickly run down the things that you will need. You'll need to get yourself some uh, corsage pins. And go for the longest corsage pins that you can find. Um, I don't know where I got these, if they're on Amazon or eBay. I'm not quite sure. Um... But I got a big package, so I have I can play lots. Then you'll need some beads, and I like these beads for this. A variety of beads. I love these. The, the faceted beads pick up the light so oops. Ah. So pretty. And so I have a variety of those in all sizes. You'll need your um rondelles. And you can use any kind of rondelles for these, but I'm going to use, oh, oh boy, there I go again. I'm going to use the ones that um, are just the clear ones. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'm too close. Um, you'll also need your bead caps. And you'll need spacer beads. Just depends what kind of what you what you want to do with yours you you can use whatever you want i also grabbed some of these these are those uh daisies and then you will need 
your little um, the little gold balls. And you'll need a glue, a glue. And this here is glitter art glue. And I had the um, E6000. All my glues are possessed. So the E6000, I can squeeze it out of the tube and it comes out like, uh, like rubber. Like I'm squeezing out rubber. And then I had other glue. It was uh, Martha Stewart's glue. And it came out like curdled cottage cheese. And then my art glitter glue is runny as milk. But at least that one works to hold things quite nicely. It's thin enough. Because you need a glue that's going to hold your bits. I've ordered some more glue. Um... I've ordered some Gorilla Glue and I'm going to get some more E6000 glue. But I needed something that I could do right now for these packages. So um, I had to use the Art Glitter Glue. And it just takes longer to dry. But the one thing that I love about it is that it dries clear. So first things first, I'm going to um, just spread some of these out so I can see what I have. I like to use all the different sizes and then this I need a variety of these because I like the little ones I don't need the big ones and then I'm just gonna pop some of these out so this is really easy oops there I go dropping stuff already so this is really really easy so what I do is I take one of these little and I just put everything together first. So let me see. What do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Grab a bead cap. And do I want to do one of the bigger beads? Yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. And let's see. What else do I want to do? So I put them all on first. So I can see whether or not I like them. This is this is so fast. So very, very fast. There. And I like that. So what I do Okay, I had to move the camera back a bit because I keep bumping it. So I grab my glue. I keep all these beads on now. I grab my glue. And I just start right here and I just add a drop like that just a little drop and then I just let that fall let it fall like that and add a little bit more glue and then let the let the bead cap fall into place. And you don't need a lot of glue at all. What I try to achieve is that the glue is going to run into the little, um, the little holes because it will stick there then. And you just build on that, just like that. And it takes forever for these to dry. So these won't be dry until completely dry until tomorrow. So I am just making sure that I letting some of the glue run into the bead hole. And then I just let the next one fall. But I do try and adjust it so it's going to be straight. It doesn't take a lot of glue. Whoops. Just trying to show you. See, I just go in the center and then I let that drop. And because it is so clear, it dries clear, it's not going to affect anything. Mind you, if you got a lot of glue on the um the pearl, then you'd probably see that. I just give it a little bit more glue there and I let that bead fall. And then I take or where am I here? 
this. This is the uh, pin for the glue. And I just take and push that little bead into the center. And then I let it dry. And I just put it into, um, I put it into a bowl where it can kind of stand up a little bit. Aren't those little bowls cute? Aren't these bowls cute? I got those from Susie Oberman. They are so adorable. They are so adorable. Sorry, I I had, uh, I dropped my glue. I dropped the glue upside down. There's like several, uh, there's, they were, come, they came in a set of six. And um, she sent them to me because she, she told me that she understood what it was like to um, be missing family. And it's true, I really went through a hard time this year. Has It's been harder this year than any of the other years. Anyway, uh, they're just so cute. I just, I'm so grateful. They're really cheerful and it's my favorite, favorite type of um, pottery. Love them, love them. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. I wanna do um, one with smaller pieces. And you don't have to do this first. Let me see. There's a there's some beads in here. See this one here? Doesn't have any of those jeweled um, uh, rondelles. There's none. But for this one, I, I do want. I do want. I want to do one of these beads. I, I love these beads. I love the deep blue. All right. So let me find... I don't know if that one will work. Hmm, it does. That's good. That one works. All right, let me find another one. See, for this, all those tiny little bead caps that you can't use works really, really well for this. And then I want to pop one of these on. And one of these. It's a good thing I have my glasses on. Because I can't see what I'm doing. See that? Isn't that pretty? I love it. Then I just, again, quickly glue it up. And if you feel like you got too much glue on it, just take it all off and wash it up. And start again. My poor camera here. My phone is having a hard time focusing. It's too much going on. And always I just try and get it right in the center. I want it to run down that the the post. I want it to run down the needle, the needle, down the needle, and so it will secure it up when it's once it's dry oops just let it fall into place see how pretty that is and all that glue that you see there, that will all dry clear. You, If I noticed that it was running down the pearl, I would definitely start over again. But that little bit, when it's like this, you're, you're never going to see that. Because you want, do want it to hold. And then once they're dry, you um, just pop one of those clutches. These are called clutches, stick pin clutches. Um, and I think these ones came from eBay, if I'm not mistaken. And that's it. That's how simple. These are so fun. 